Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at your best wiring options for your 2008 Honda Pilot. Today we're going to have three different options that we'll talk about. and All three of them are going to be four-way flat trailer connectors. Right here we're going to have the Tecantra. In the center we're going to have the Hopkins. And over here we're going to have the Kurt. And before we start talking about all the differences, I'd like to tell you which one I personally chose for my own car and why. And I chose the Tecantra. It's for a few different reasons, the main one being the quality of construction. The box is going to be really durable, well built, sealed up really nice. The wires are going to be bonded and just have a really good feel to them. They're nice and thick and durable. You're going to be able to tell that they hold up once you kind of get it in your hand. Even down from the cap. Covers gonna be real thick and fit nice and snug. That way you don't have to worry about any water or corrosion getting inside of there. Uh, it's gonna keep everything in good shape. You know it's gonna last a long time. Another one being mounting locations. So where these get mounted is relatively tight. There's not a ton of room to work. And the box is relatively small. It's gonna give you a few different options. It's gonna come with this pre-attached two-sided sticky tape so you could use that to secure it. It's also going to have this little hole here, which you can run a zip tie through it and secure it that way. Or if you wanted to, you could even take a self-tapping screw and run that screw through it to keep it in place. Now today, I actually have my own personal pilot in here. And to give you an idea on how all three are going to be stored, they're going to be out of sight, which is always a nice thing. And in the little storage compartment here where I keep all my other belongings, Simply just bundle up your wiring and keep it in there until you need it. Now I went with the Tecantra um, because of the reasons I described a moment ago. But just to kind of give you an idea on how all three would work, whenever you're ready to use it, what you do is just take the wiring out and drop it over your threshold. Anywhere on the threshold is going to be fine as long as there's that weather stripping there. You just want to avoid the latch. That way you don't damage the wiring. Then you'd simply just close your hatch on it. And this gives you a really good idea on how much length you're gonna have too. As you can see, that's more than enough to hook up to any trailer or any accessory that you'd want to. So with that being said, let's go ahead and kind of cover some of the differences now. That first major one I noticed is the quality of construction. We'll start with the Hopkins. This one, the box, just doesn't feel like it's going to be built as heavy duty. Uh, I do like it's a little bit smaller though, so that's a plus. But if you kind of feel the wires, you can tell they're just a little bit thinner and just a little more flimsy in my opinion. The side that actually comes to our four-way flat, these aren't going to be bonded. And so what I mean by bonded is the Tecantra and the Kurtz wiring is actually all connected together like that. In my opinion, it's gonna be a little more durable. Hopkins is just kind of taped. And I really think this is important, especially if you're considering running your four-way flat outside to the hitch, because that bonded wire is just gonna hold up better to the elements and stay in a little bit better shape. The Kurt, I would say, is a really close tie to the Tecantra. It's going to have that bonded wiring on both sides. The boxes are going to be about the same size uh, and similar construction. However, once you kind of get the two in your hands, you could really feel the difference on that insulation that's actually protecting the wire. I think that the Tecantra just has a slight advantage there. Another small difference that I noticed is how we're gonna be able to mount all of our wiring. So as we kind of talked about with the Tecantra, gonna have a lot of options. That sticky tape, we're gonna have this little hole here where we could use a zip tie or even a screw. The Hopkins, we're kind of just limited to using a zip tie. They do give you a couple small ones, so that shouldn't really be a huge issue. Um, I suppose you could use some sticky tape if you pick some up separately, put it on the back, I think that would work. And the Kurt, could be pretty similar to the Tecantra. Um, they do give you some sticky tape to put on the back of it. So you could do it that way. Or you can also use some zip ties. They do give you quite a few of them. So I think if you kind of wrapped it around the box, you could get it secured like that also. 
Now, not a huge deal, but another difference has to do with the power output of all the wiring. The Takancha is going to have 2.1 amps per circuit for your stop and turn signals and 4 amps per circuit for your tail lights. The Hopkins, this is going to have 2.1 amps per circuit for your stop and turn and the tail light circuit is actually not listed. The Kurt, on the other hand, this is going to have 3 amps per circuit for your stop and turn and 5 amps per circuit for your tail lights. So more or less what all that means is just about any one of these wiring kits is going to provide your trailer with enough power to not only illuminate LEDs, but also traditional style incandescent bulbs too. But at the end of the day, all three are going to get the job done. They're all going to provide us with those lighting signals, your stop, turn, and running lights. And it's really just going to be your preference. I mean, they're all going to install pretty much exactly the same. They're all going to use that factory plug. So everything will just plug right in. And either way, whichever one you choose, you're going to know that you're safe while you're towing your trailer down the road. And that'll finish up our look at of our best wiring options for your Honda Pilot. I hope you found this information useful and it helps you pick which wiring to go with.